Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I get a lot of requests for patterns and many times they're patterns that I can't create because they're copyrighted images or trademarked images and uh, so you know obviously I can't do that. I can't violate those copyrights uh, and have a blog that actually brings in income. But for personal use most of the time it's not a problem. You don't want to sell the projects made from a copyrighted uh, pattern but you need some way to make a pattern one of the most common requests that I get believe it or not is for this Harley Davidson motorcycle logo I probably get this request once a month at least uh, so I want to show you real quick how you can go about making this pattern in Inkscape in just minutes if you go to Google and you type in Harley Davidson logo and then click on the images tab up here it'll bring up all these logo graphics so I clicked on this first one that came up and I got this right here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this image and I'm gonna save image as now I'm using Google Chrome so it may be slightly different if you're using a different browser but you wanna save this image so I'm gonna hit save the image and it will put it in a directory that I have specified I've already got it downloaded so I'm just gonna cancel it now we've got that graphic as a bitmap graphic that we really can't use very well as a scroll saw pattern. So what you can do is you can go to these free online sites that convert a bitmap graphic to a vector graphic. And a vector graphic gives us the ability to resize and break apart the image uh, into something we can use as a pattern. So I'm going to show you that here real quick. If I come to this uh, PNG to SVG.com website I can go down here and click on choose a file and that file that we just downloaded the Harley Davidson logo click on it it brings that logo in then all we have to do is hit generate and it will convert this bitmap graphic which we really can't do much with into an SVG and I'll show you what that means here in a minute go ahead and click the download button and it will download it to our download folder and now like I've uh, shown many times before a free graphics vector graphics program that's uh, not particularly easy to use but it's very powerful and the kind of stuff we need to do for scroll saw patterns doesn't require a whole lot of uh, learning in this program because it's for graphic designers and there's a lot of features you'll never need so you want to go to inkscape.org and download inkscape or if you already have it you you know what I'm talking about I've got inkscape up and running here now we now inkscape uses SVG or vector graphics files so go up to file import and when we go to import we're gonna to go to where that vector was created for us so there's our SVG file we're going to click on that, hit OK, and it will import that vector graphic into Inkscape. Now it looks like the same image we had before, but it's not. It's actually broken into pieces. So if we have it highlighted by clicking our mouse on it, we can go up to Object, Ungroup, and it breaks that graphic into a bunch of different pieces. So if we put our mouse over it and drag away, there's part of the image that is just uh, junk that we don't need. We can delete that, grab it again, pull another piece away. Ooh, that's starting to look like something we can use. So let's get rid of all this other stuff, get it out of the way, and bring it over onto our sheet. Now, this is a pattern that could be cut, except for we're going to lose all of our interior pieces. So we need to do a little doctoring to make that work. So I'm going to go down here and with it selected, I'm going to right click on one of my grays and I'm going to set fill to gray. Then I'm going to right click on black and I'm going to set the stroke to black and that just gives us a nice stroke. I'm going to also change the stroke down to about uh, 5, 0.5, so a little finer line for us to cut. Now we need to do something about the fact that this piece is going to fall out if we cut it as a pattern. All we need to do is go over here to our rectangle tool come over here click our mouse button drag this down center it up and of course we could copy that and put it over here but just for uh, 
the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to click on the graphic we just created. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to Path and Union, and you can see it welded that to it. So now we can cut this out, and it'll look fine. This centerpiece won't fall out. You're simply going to go through and do that for all the letters that need a bridge. And it won't take you too long to go through it. You do the same thing with it. Oh, you'll have to do the A. That'll be a little bit more of a challenge, but you can do it. The R. Uh, these small characters, they're the small divisions are the hardest ones. Here's an O that's a little smaller. So let's give that a try just to see if we can make it look right. Let's make it fairly small like that. And click both. Path Union. And yeah, that's we can cut that on the scroll saw. Now... We could go through the whole pattern and do that, and then we can simply grab one of the corners to size it. Oh, let me back up because I didn't hold down my whoops, I didn't want to do that either. Uh, edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo scale. So, when you want to resize it, you have to hold down the control key. So, hit the control key, take your left mouse button, and drag it to whatever size you need. Then you can print that pattern out in Inkscape and cut it. Now again, you're going to have to go through and do all the letters like we did the O and the R and this O over here. Uh, but you can see that's going to make a perfectly good pattern to print out and cut. So quick way to make a pattern if you can get a decent image on Google or uh, any of the free uh, download image sites. Uh, gives you a chance to turn the file into a vector graphic and then do the editing that you need to do to it to be able to cut it out. Okay, I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop. We'll catch you next time.